Assalamualaikum and hi to everybody. So for today, I'm going to present in subject air conditioning and refrigerant control system, DJU five one zero four two. So my lecture name is Encik Muhammad Nazrin bin Naha. So before we start, I will introduce myself first. So my name is Mama Imbal Mama Sidi and my matrix number is zero one DPU two one F one zero four three. So I'm from class DPU five B. So in this subject. I will present about the topic of pulling automation system. So there are three topics I will present. The first one is common sensor and actuator types. The second one is operating of sensor and actuator, and the third is control loop in terms of component device. Right now I will start with common sensor and actuator types. The first one we go to the common sensor type. Number one is temperature sensor, such as thermocouple or thermistor, is to measure air or refrigerant temperature. The second one is pressure sensor, monitor the pressure of the refrigerant which is the system. The third one is humidity sensor, measure the moisture content in the air. The number number four is therm thermostat, control temperature setting and active or deactivate the system based on the desired. Number five is flow sensor. It monitor the flow rate of fluids, such as refrigerant or water, which is the system. Number six is position sensor. Track the position of components like damper or valve to regulate air flow of refrigerant flow. Now we go to the actuator types. So the first one is compressors. Compressor increase the pressure of the refrigerant in the system. Number two is expansion valve. Regulate the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator. Number three, condenser fans control the speed of or operating of fans to manage heat exchange in the condenser. And number four is evaporator fans regulate the air flow over the evaporator coil for cooling. Number five is solenoid valve control the flow of refrigerant or other fluids, which is the system. Number six is motorized damper. Adjust the flow of air in duct to control temperature distribution. Now we go to the operation of sensor and actuator. We start with sensor operation. The first, the first one is detection sensor such as temperature, pressure, humidity, and flow sensors detect change in relevant environmental parameters. The next one is standard transduction. The sensor convert that change into electrical signals. Next, signal processing. The electrical signals undergo processing to ensure accuracy and reliability. Then, lastly, transmission. Process signals are sent to the control unit or microcontroller. Now we go to actuator operation. The first one is common generation. The control unit generate common based on sensor input determining the necessary adjustment to maintain optimal conditions. The next one is transmission. Common are sent to actuators to electric signals. The next one is actuator. Actuators such as compressor, fans, valve, and damper respond to the commands by adjusting the operation. Right now, we go to the control loops in terms of component device. There are two types of control loops. The first one is open loops, and the second one is closed loop. Now, I will explain about the open loop control. An open loop control system in air conditioning system and refrigeration lets feedback to adjust its operation based on the system output. Instead, it release. On a predetermined input to produce a fixed output, regulated of the actual system condition. In this context, the control action is not influenced by the system performance or the output. And last but not least, I will explain about the closed loop system. A closed loop control system in air conditioning and refrigeration involves continuous monitoring of the system output. Or controller variable, and using feedback to adjust the system operation, maintaining the desired condition. This type of control system is more sophisticated and responsive compared to the open loop system. 
So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy my video and share it to everybody. So goodbye everybody. Assalamualaikum.